Queen I'm from Queen's Life and I hope that you guys are having a great day today I am here getting chest x-rays preparing myself for um, a hip replacement um, I probably should have done already a um, update live vlog this video might be scattered I'm not sure when I'm gonna put it but I'm here today in the gown getting ready to get x-rays just to make sure everything is going right so I could get medical clearance. I already saw my primary doctor and he signed the papers. I did the x-rays now and then another day, I don't know if I'll be able to vlog it or not, but I'll do the echo EKG blood work. Um, I am gonna see my pacemaker and defibrillator doctor and my cardiologist for more uh, medical clearance so I don't know in what order you're gonna see this so guys today I'm at the hospital today I'm gonna get blood work my EKG my echo uh, my pacemaker and defibrillator checked and I'm going to the cardiologist so I can get medical clearance for um, my hip to be removed I do have a hip infection they they have to remove completely my entire hip replacement and the procedure that I'm going to be having I'm not sure of the name of it but they will be taking all of the metal out including the metal that is in my femur bone so I already have medical clearance from my primary doctor and I'm here to get all the testing done um, to get the uh, medical clearance from my cardiologist the only thing that I have left to do is the corona test and then i will be good to go um by the next week will be my um surgery i don't know when you'll be seeing this video but so i got my ekg done and my blood work and now i'm going to my car so while i'm waiting on the waiting room for my cardiologist for medical clearance i'm looking at what you see the new jersey Skyline, I am in New York Hospital, and what you're seeing is New Jersey area across the um, Hudson River right here. And this is the view that I have. As you see there, that is the road, some trees, and way back there is the New Jersey area. Waiting to see the cardiologist for so I got my echo done already. I saw my cardiologist. They looked at over all my testing and they are giving me medical clearance on my primary and my cardiologist with instructions, of course. I don't know how the surgery is gonna be. I don't know how painful I'm, I'm gonna be in. Um, but I do have medical clearance, so I hope that everything comes out okay um they do have to wait on the blood work results if anything they see anything that they need to cancel my surgery but so far my surgery is still on for next week as you see in the background i'm in front of the hospital this is not the hospital that i'm gonna have my surgery on this is only where i'm getting medical clearance for my cardiologist so god willing Putting the Lord first, everything will come out fine. And a little, I forgot to mention that my um, EKG came out abnormal, which is, you know, I have a heart condition. That That's not a surprise to us. They were expecting that. And again, it also came out, um, um, you know, that my ejection fraction is very low somewhere around 15% to 20%, um, which is very low. They're still gonna go ahead and give the okay. Um, we're still waiting on blood work. Depending on how that comes out, will determine the very last bit of the clearance. I do have the clearance papers right here for the surgery. Um, like I said, hopefully everything goes okay. Praying to the Lord. 
um, to give me strength, to give my family strength, to be there for me. I appreciate everyone that has supported me, has been there, giving me words of encouragement. I do truly appreciate all of you that do know. So a lot of you don't know what's going on. Um, God willing, everything comes back and, and I'll be back on my, you know, on my hustle, you know, coming at you with some funny videos and hauls and all that good stuff. Um, but that's the update that I have so far. Um, hopefully, the surgery won't get canceled. I want to get out. I, I want to get ahead and get over it with this already. And so, guys, I'm on my way home now. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow that um, my cardiologist gets all the um, testing done as far as echo and blood work. They got immediately the EKG. She heard my lungs, my heart, and she um, so far gave me medical clearance. But if anything comes out in the blood work, they will call me. If anything comes out in the echo, I still need the surgery because it's emergency surgery. It turns out that I have, um, I need a hip replacement. I don't know when I'll be posting this or how I'm gonna put this vlog together. But I hope that you come along the journey with me. You guys know that um, you give me strength. And I know that all of you are praying for me. Some of you know, some of you don't. When I throw this video out, you will find out. Um, I still have a lot of pre-recorded videos for you guys. Um, and I wanna apologize in advance. I will be heavily, heavily medicated. I'm not sure if they're giving me the loaded or they're going to give me um, the other one it is. I'm not sure for pain, um, but I may be disoriented for quite a long time. I'm not sure how long. So pardon me if, you know, I'm trying to show you support and I misspell words or <laughs> things might not make sense know from advance that i'm gonna be heavily medicated with um i'm not sure what the other one was it's like percocet or something like that um and um anesthesia i'll be under anesthesia so i, I will be medically um heavily medicated so i hope that you all understand so the surgery is nothing that um i can avoid it has to happen no matter what um I really don't have any decision making on this. It is what it is, is what the doctors are saying that I need for my hip. Um, basically, it's just time to get it out and put a new one back, um, just to put a new one. Um, there was nothing that I did, it's just inevitable things that happen that um, metal um, hip replacement give in and give out after a couple of years and it's something that I have to do regardless whether it's my decision or not. It's something that has to happen. Otherwise, I will not be able to walk and um, of course I wanna walk. Now, they don't guarantee anything. I'm hoping that after everything is said and done, I can come back to walking again. I don't know about being in a wheelchair for a while not I don't know if I'm gonna be on crutches I don't know basically what my future is um, so I have my um, my um, leg in my doctor's hand basically there's nothing that I can do to make it better I could only do it make it better after the surgery cooperating with physical therapy and making myself get up from bed. I do need to move around for circulation so I don't get any blood clots or hematomas. Um, so it's something that's gonna take me quite a very long time to do and overcome. Um, yes, if you ask me, I'm very, very scared. I don't know what my future holds. My future depends on... So for now, I'm back home and I have to wait till tomorrow till they give me updates on my blood work and they tell me the ejection fraction my heart is at now um, and they'll give me results on the echo nonetheless whatever the results are 
I still have to do this surgery. Um, I did read in the paperwork some information that they did write, and I do understand it. I don't want to say anything yet until they confirm it verbally to me. Um, and I'll let you guys know um, as soon as I know. But those are the updates that I have so far. Thank you all for supporting me, and stay tuned to my next um, update. So I have two masks um, here in New York. I needed to get the COVID test here in New York, specifically for what the doctor wanted. I'm sure it's gonna come out negative. Um, I still have to update you on my um, blood work and my testing that I had for my heart, the echo EKG, but I'm here doing my COVID test and like I said, I'm sure it's gonna come out negative. And then the last thing is to have my surgery. Okay guys, so I got the COVID test done already. Um, they'll have the results tomorrow. And then I'm ready to go for my um, surgery. I'll try to come back one more time to give you another update as to my testing. I have to put my mask on. I'll try to come back and give you an update of my blood work on what it said and on my EKG and my echo and then I think So here we are in Manhattan uh, near the hospital where I'm gonna have my surgery. I believe that is the hospital here. Um, yeah, I just wanted to take you along just so you guys could kind of see the scenery and the area i believe that there's a park here right central park. this is central park this is central park that you see or at least some of it because it's very very huge um and i guess we're kind of stuck in a little bit of traffic so this is the hospital right here that I'm gonna be spending a few weeks in. Not looking forward to it. So we cutting through where? Central Park. We're gonna be cutting through Central Park to getting into the um, Lincoln, Tunnel. Lincoln Tunnel into New Jersey. We're heading to uh, West 36th Street. We're on East 100th. East 100? Yes. In a quarter we gotta mile, go to the west side. Onto Central Park West. So. The west side. The west side. I remember when Snoop Dogg said the East Coast. So, what you're seeing here is the David H. Cock Theater, New York City Ballet. Look how pretty. New York City Ballet, Spring 2022, right up there. Guys, okay, so it's David H. Koch, not Koch. It's only a blooper moment, but you guys were able to read it for yourself. Um, I didn't realize it, Mr. E pointed it out to me. But I did come and fix it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to try that VV bubble tea right there. I wonder how it tastes. But look at how cute the little skulls up there. So we're coming into the Lincoln Tunnel. As you can see the sign there. We're in the New York side. And we're headed to the New Jersey side. Like what, 10 minutes? This is probably like 
10 minutes into going into um, the New Jersey side. I think it's a little less, but because of traffic, um, it's gonna take a little longer. But this is the way that the Lincoln Tunnel looks inside. Okay guys, so I stopped by Dollar General because I was thirsty and I wanted to try this new drink from Coca-Cola and it looks like this. It says that it's Starlight. So it's a new flavor that I've never seen before. Starlight and it is a limited edition as you can see there. It doesn't really specify what flavor except it says space flavored. It kind of looks a little bit red on the bottle. So I just want to go ahead and taste it to quench my thirst. And let's see how it tastes because I'm so curious. Hmm. That's a distinguished flavor. I can't even tell what flavor this is. You want to taste it? Yes. So I have Mr. E, he's driving. I'm gonna let him try and see because I can't figure out the flavor. If you notice that it's kind of reddish, the color right here from Coca-Cola, it's not bad. You don't like it? No. He doesn't like it. it tastes like dirty water. Dirty water? <laughs> He says it tastes like dirty water. I don't know what it tastes like. It's almost like a cherry, um, kind of like cotton candy cup flavor, right? I personally probably wouldn't buy it again. It's almost like a cherry cotton candy, but almost like a diet soda, right? Like a diet flavor probably wouldn't get it again guys so this is just the way that the bottle looks and that was a little test taste I needed to quench my thirst um, and I'll come back with some more of um, so mr. E picked this mounds for his snack today from Dollar General and he gave me half of it so I haven't had one of these in years. I can't even take it out. Give me one second. Yeah, it kind of looks like this with some coconut in it. Mmm. Wow. This is really taking me back, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you like um, Mounds or the Almond Joys better. Which one do you prefer I prefer the mounds hmm also he picked up these lands with peanut butter in them just to kind of snack to hold us over to get home and pretty much uh, this is what I'm snacking on right now a little bit of this a little bit of mound Mmm, I'm just gonna create something there. Peanut butter mounds. The starlight tastes like diet. Diet Coca-Cola with vanilla, cherry, and like cotton candy. That's what I'm getting out of this. It is quite high in calories, 240. And um, this is a one serving. I don't even want to know what the sugar is on this. Wow, 65 on the sugar and 50 on the sodium. Mmm. Well, I haven't had mounds in years. So we just want a little snack to hold us over to get home so we can have some lunch. It's very early in the morning still. Wow, it's kind of humid out. I'm combing my hair. 
I didn't flat on my hair because I got to wash it again right before surgery. I don't like to put too much heat on it. So it's quite humid outside. So this is the way it is. Um, I I'm, came back from doing the COVID test. Tomorrow I will be getting the results of those um, tests. I'm gonna put some um, physician's formula powder just to give me a little bit of color because I ran out of the house without makeup only a little bit of lipstick um so let's let me run it down let me think here I went to my um primary they gave me medical clearance they did blood work I also went to my cardiologist and I did get the EKG the EKG always comes out abnormal um, so it came out up normal, which they already knew, already knew that that was going to happen. They did the echo. It came back that my heart is at 20% ejection fraction. So basically my heart has not gotten better at all, um, in the last several years, but it has not gotten worse. 20% is not a great number. If you Google it. Um, it's Google it by 20% ejection fraction. That'll tell you um, how much my heart is working and how bad it is. Um, I did the blood work. They got the blood work back. Everything is okay. Um, what else did they do? They checked my pacemaker and defibrillator. And in fact, I only have until July for the battery to run out. In July, I had a heart surgery, which has been canceled. And they, I'm not sure what they're going to do, but they cannot leave me without a defibrillator and a pacemaker uh, without working. So at the time of uh, when it comes in July, depending on my status, they're gonna have to figure out a way on how to monitor my heart because I have had shots from my defibrillator basically my heart has stopped um and the defibrillator has gone off and it has revived me basically so they already know that i can't go without having a defibrillator so now they got to figure out if they're going to put me back into the hospital for the remaining of the recovery because the recovery is going to be a lot of months three five it could be nine months i'm not sure they haven't given me a definite number yet um but in july if the situation has not gotten fixed which is a, a infection that i have in my hip um they either have to bring me back into the hospital and i'll have to stay there the remaining of the time or they might have to give me a external um defibrillator to monitor my heart so that is the updates that i have um, i don't have any more updates i will have an update tomorrow as far as my covid test i'm sure it's gonna come out negative and guys i'm gonna end the vlog here it's gonna be quite a long vlog stay tuned to my new vlog i will start my new vlog with my result of the um, covid test and when I have to go to the hospital and try to show you little bits and clips of what's happening, as far as I know, everything, I've been given medical clearance by my primary. My cardiologist kind of didn't want to give me medical clearance. It's something that is forced because I do have a, a infection in my hip. Um, so hopefully that the doctors know what they're doing and take care of me the best that they can and everything will work out so I'll, I'll keep you guys posted this will be the end of the vlog please give it a thumbs up like and share considering the circumstances it'll help me out a great deal and i appreciate each and every one of you and if you're new i hope that you consider checking out my other kind of content this is not the only kind of content that i do i do have a lot of fun content but from here and there i do vlogs and life updates this is one of them and to um 
my YouTube sisters and um, brothers that have been with me for a very long time. I appreciate you, all of you, for always showing me so much love and support and supporting me in these hard times that I'm going through. With that being said, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. I will keep you guys updated. And like I said, don't forget to be positive, spread positivity, and positivity will always come back.